A Terre Haute family mourns the loss of their young son. 11-year-old Noah Worthington was killed as a result of a car crash Friday evening, along with 11-year-old Cale Roberts. The visitation for Noah is going on right now at the Church of Latter-day Saints in Terre Haute. Well, this morning, Noah's father sat down with Dan Klein for an interview you will see only here on News 10. Dan? Mark, Patrice, Noah's family told me they don't have any regrets. Noah's father, Will, says he knows his son wasn't perfect, but to them, he was a perfect son and a perfect brother. The batting cage outside the Worthington home sits empty, as does the basketball hoop. And inside, the piano is silent as well, all quiet since the death of 11-year-old Noah Worthington. If you want to say there's a such thing as an all-American kid, I think, I think Noah was that. More than an active child who loved exploring, Noah was also a deep thinker and a good student who excelled in writing classes. Probably what I'll miss most is uh, <clears throat> how many times a day he told me he loved me. Noah was heading to the Terre Haute North-South baseball game with his friend Cale Roberts. Cale's 18-year-old sister Chelsea was behind the wheel. On Old Riley Road, she lost control of the car and hit another car. Will says accidents happen and it does not change how he feels about the Roberts family. If anything, it brings us all closer. And when they come in this door, this is their home. Just like when we go to their house, it's their home. The flags at the Riley ball fields fly at half staff in the boys' memory. The stands will fill Tuesday night as Noah and Kale's team takes the field for the first time after the accident. A team that will be down to just 10 players because Noah and Kale cannot be replaced. The only way that I can see it to continue on is by honoring them and living the way I wanted and taught him to live, or we wanted and taught him to live, and that was to love. That love is life-saving. Noah was an organ donor to four children. Will says each one is doing well. For an extended interview with Will and a photo gallery, go to our website at WTHITV.com. Mark, back to you. Thank you, Dan. Noah's visitation continues until 8 o'clock tonight at the Church of Latter-day Saints on North 6 and a half Street in Terre Haute. His funeral is set for tomorrow at 5 o'clock with additional visitation from 3 to 5.